So I'm Dan Barker. I work at RSA Security. Who here is familiar with Just Culture? So a few people. Um, so Just Culture has uh, got or got its start and did a lot of the research in um, hospitals and aviation, uh, as well as the safety industry around manufacturing. Um, one of the best articles that is available is How Complex Systems Fail by Dr. Richard Cook. And he covers several different items in that uh, document. Uh, one of which is that systems, complex systems, are always in a state of failure. Um, so there's always some failure occurring, some individual failure occurring in the system. And those failures add up uh, to cause a catastrophic failure. So root cause is just a myth. It's a misapplication from hindsight bias um, because it requires multiple failures in the system. Um, so there are multiple causes. And because of that complexity and that ambiguity, uh, every action you take in the system is a gamble um, because you can never understand the state of the system. Therefore, you can't predict accurately what the outcome will be from any of your actions. Um, however, humans are the adaptable component of that system. And that means that we can learn more about the system and react uh, more reasonably in those situations of failure. Um, there's a, a another uh, a person who did some research around this named Ron Westrom. Uh, many of you may have heard of the Westrom Topology or Westrom Culture Survey. Um, and Just Culture aligns very well with the generative uh, uh, culture that he describes in his research. Uh, Just Culture is really about trust, learning, and accountability. Uh, a lot of people take accountability out, or leadership believes that accountability is no longer part of just culture, but uh, just to make it clear that accountability is definitely mandatory for a just culture. Um, and if you want to bring this into your organization, um, there are several things that you can do. Um, I won't be able to cover too many in five minutes, um, but one of the things you can do is start with yourself and focus on changing your language. Um, so there's a lot of blameful language uh, in our society, um, and it, we're trying to go towards more of a blameless language. Uh, one of those things is saying, like, I should have done something um, different. Uh, I shouldn't, you know, I should have said this or I should have said that. Um, that is assuming that you can predict the future. So it's better to say, I did X, I expected Y, and then I saw Z in the system. Um, that helps us learn more about the system. Uh, to do that, we can also use blameless postmortem. So after an incident, uh, we can try to use that language uh, to, to walk through the incident. Um, and we want to walk through a timeline. We want to just discuss the facts of the system and what everyone did with that blameless language. Uh, and the goal of all of this is to learn more about the system so that we can adapt and react to, to the system more thoughtfully in the future. We can also teach others. Um, so one thing I find is that there's a knowledge gap in these areas. Um, clearly, I've referenced some research. Uh, a lot of that people don't know about, um, or they don't think about systems in this way. So I often will refer to how complex systems fail. Uh, engineers uh, tend to enjoy that and can connect with that information. Uh, and the Western model and just culture are pretty effective with leadership. Um, they tend to be able to understand these concepts pretty well. Uh, and so there are areas where you might fail. Um, I'll cover two of these. Uh, the, the, I have failed in some of these areas and I've seen other people fail. Uh, this is a long process and so you have to have patience. Um, if you don't have patience, then you will grow very frustrated um, and it will be very hard to continue to execute. Uh, culture change is an evolution, not a revolution. Um, so just be mindful of that. Uh, so the system will frustrate you, but also individuals will frustrate you um, because they will revert to the mean or they will uh, fight against what you're trying to do. Um, so just understand that they are uh, affected by this system as well, um, and they are trying to do the best they can given the knowledge they have. Uh, if you can't change your organization, then you should leave um, because you don't want this type of change, your, your, your ability to execute this kind of change in your organization to damage yourself. Um, so always think about yourself that, that you have to be whole. It's the putting the mask on you before putting on the child. Uh, if you want any references, I have some in my talk deck. Uh, you can go to my website, follow me on Twitter. I'll be giving the full talk uh, in two weeks uh, at DevOps Days Kiev, and that'll be up on my website. Thank you.